Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP Victus 15. This video will help you with any of the 15-FB series computers. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your battery. So first thing, power down your computer through the start menu. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. This computer has a total of seven screws along the bottom case. Once you get those screws out, we're gonna take our small flat pry tool. We're gonna to go across the seam of the bottom case and pry it up from the rest of the computer. Now don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge, go slow but firm, and you'll be able to take that bottom case off. It's also generally best to start near the back near one of the two hinges. After you get the bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or wearing an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any of the replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, I will have my Amazon affiliate link above, also below in the description, and that will be a list of all those tools and supplies I use, as well as these replacement and upgrade parts for this computer. Your battery is right down here along the bottom of my screen. This is a 52.5 watt hour battery, 11.55 volt, and the HP part number for this battery is SD03XL. I will have all that information below in the description for your reference, and I will also include a battery replacement option in that link I just told you about with all of the tools and supplies and replacement parts for this computer. The battery is held in by these four screws near the red arrows, and it plugs into the motherboard near the blue arrow. Now to get that plug out, you'll notice the white plug has two grips, one on either side. It makes it very easy to use your fingernails or a pry tool to wiggle that out of that port right there. If you don't have enough give with those small wires, you may have to unscrew the battery and take it out, but I was able to unplug that from the motherboard uh, without taking my battery out. And I guess as a last side note to mention, if you are here because your computer's not turning on, your battery could be bad and you may have to replace it, but keep in mind that laptop computers should still turn on and work even with a bad battery, as long as the computer's plugged in. If your computer is not turning on, there could be something else wrong with it besides just a bad battery. If you would like help troubleshooting that, I will have a video link above, also below in the description, and that will be a video tutorial showing you how to troubleshoot a laptop that's not turning on so you can find the cause and how to fix it. And as long as you're inside your computer, if you would like any assistance upgrading your memory or your storage, I'll have two video links pop up at the end of this video and they'll help you with that. Thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.